Hey everyone, thanks for coming. This is T Bank's workshop for micro hackathons. So they they have a bounty out that asks hackers to leverage the NFT Bank API, and this bounty is worth four thousand USDC. Pretty open ended, but I'll let Jen Kim, who's going to be presenting today about the API, explain more about the bounty and how and give the resources an overview of what they're looking for there. So Jen, why don't you go ahead and get started? All right. Thank you so much, Nick. Hi, everyone. This is Jen from NFT Bank. I'll also go ahead and briefly introduce my team who has also joined the chat as well. We have Chris on the call, Chris Song, who is one of our engineering leader. He's responsible for building a lot of the things that are available on our API. We'll be able to answer a lot of questions, whether it's through this workshop or through this Discord channel. So I'll let Chris briefly say hi. Chris, do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, I'm the lead of the uh, NFT bank. And if I have any questions, just let me know. And first, then, then we introduce our API and I can answer any questions about technical details. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. And then we have on the call, Sophie and John, Sophie J and John Kim, who is part of our BD team. They'll be active on Discord to answer any questions and then make sure we engage with the, with the hackers during the season of Hackathon. John and Sophie, if you want to quickly say hi. Hi. If you guys have any questions or things to communicate to our team, always will hesitate to tag John and me on our Discord channel. Thank you. Hey guys, John here. Like Sophie said, don't hesitate to reach out to us and we'll always be here, whether if it's a night in Korea or morning. So please let us know. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Let me jump right into introducing more about NFT Bank. I will share my screen. So I know that a lot of you probably know us for providing the NFT price estimate. We do have a competitive edge and strength there. But what I want to do today is actually give you a broader overview of what NFT Bank is. And then from that, what you can expect to get from our API. I think it can be a collaborative session where a lot of the participants ask us question whether certain things are available or can be available, given what we already have on our website. About NFT Bank, we started by trying to solve the problem of NFT pricing, given that the lack of knowledge or information about how to correctly price the NFT, we saw that as a hindering force for the activation of NFT trading. Obviously, when the NFT industry overall just took off, we were able to benefit from that rise by being able to provide that core piece where it allowed people to better be better informed about how they can make a purchasing or selling decisions. But I think where we stand today is a lot more advanced, even though the market may seem a little bit more great. People are now really trying to innovate ways of leveraging different components of the financial system that revolves around the NFT to build something that can unlock the what we're calling NFT financialization. So what we've been doing here are one, like using the price estimate that we have, one, give the power to the people to better understand what their NFT finance state, current state is. So when you come to our website, you'll be able to see a lot of features around T portfolio management, which is one of the best ways that we're known for. So I'll be sharing this link after the call so that you guys can just explore what the product is all about and then what you can expect that what expect that we would have on our data side and then actually ask us whether we can provide that information via API. So all the basics, I won't read through the, all the details because obviously you guys can go ahead and take a look at yourself. But at a high level, what we do is connect multiple wallets so that the users are able to get an at glance view of their NFT portfolio and then understand what their performance is looking like. And then based off of this, they can make additional decisions around what, do, how do they want to basically strategize further when it comes to making decisions for NFT trading. So right here is a screenshot of the top level summary of their portfolio, as well as the inventory of holdings that the um, NFT traders would have. 
And then for each of the NFTs that they hold, we provide our estimate price, which is the proprietary model that we use to power. And then floor price, of course, the common standard for the market, but obviously not as accurate as estimate. And then the acquisition price and the acquisition date. I think one thing to note out here is that what we provide is the ability to convert between the um, the versus ETH standard based on the exchange rate on the day of the relevant trading. You can imagine that we would have, we would have information along the lines of estimate price, floor price, and then acquisition like trading records, and then also the exchange rate for the particular date. And then I think knowing this, you can imagine like a lot of different things that you can build around. Um, so I would love for you guys to imagine as I go ahead and explain what our features are and then what we can connect the dots to innovate further through this hackathon. So yeah, I think this kind of, this talk will give you an overview of what you can find in Portfolio Manager as a solution. And because we're able to do this, many of our clients or users have loved us for being able to provide a tax service. When you think about tax, I think it's something that we won't think right off the top of our head when it comes to like financialization, but any kind of financial activity entails correct record keeping. And then using that, be able to report on a more of the government or like tax obligation front. I think the purpose of me sharing this is to help people see NFT financialization in multiple angles and then innovate based on some of the path that we've taken and then some of the success that we've had in terms of getting some feedback from the market out there. Another popular feature that we have is the deal of the day. Using the price estimate that we have, we're able to compare the listing and the compare the listing and the estimated price for that particular T item. So when you come here, like this is actually a screenshot of our feature. You can find all of this in the NFT Bank website. You can see the estimated price, which is what we provide through our model, and then the listing price. And then with that, we can compare whether this is underpriced or overpriced. And then it, it gives you a direct link out to the market. So another example of the way we have used our API or our data to further innovate. Another another way that we have been innovating using our core data set around the price estimate is providing what we're calling NFT Bank Index. So when you look at the index that exists in the TradeFi system, the goal there is to understand how the market is moving. But when it comes to understanding the market, it's really hard to do because we understand the trading volume. But trading volume doesn't necessarily capture the full market value because the trading volume is only capturing the capturing the portion of NFTs that have been traded. Because we know the value of every single NFT item, what we can do is actually the capture of the market size changing as they go. When you come to our site, you'll see that we have experimented with the concept of index with the blue chip NFT projects. And you'll see a link out to the to the details of the index and what's included in the blue chip projects right here. So we'll go into details, but I think you get you can get the gist from like how you can also innovate from how we have approached using the estimate price for the individual NFTs. That was a brief overview of the most popular features that we have. And obviously from that, I've already touched upon like some of the things that are going to be available on our API. So here I listed them out more from data perspective. So obviously you can get ML based price estimate. We cover around 8,000 projects at this point, accuracy around 90%. Um, and we provide different ways of interacting with this data. One, if you want individual NFT pricing, you can request for that and then get that. We also allow bulk import so that if you want to play around with multiple NFTs at once, we give you the option to do that. And then when it comes to historical price trend, that's another thing that I think many of our partners have found very valuable. I saw that the list of like financialization ideas, I saw the list that many people have inputted. Some people explored the idea of options or insurance in order to correctly build those kind of products, understanding of how the price history have cha price change have occurred historically, I think will be a key component. So you can find all of this information here. And then when I'm sure like we obviously have confidence in our price estimate, but many users can have the doubt or want the desire to know like how accurate is this or like 
how accurate is this for this particular project that I'm interested in? What I will provide in the link is the link to the dashboards that shows you this. And basically, this will show you the first ta- first dashboard will show you the list of projects. And then for each project, what is our accuracy? What is our model accuracy for the NFT price estimate? The second one, I think, will be a little bit more intuitive, which I will actually click um, right now. Here, what you will see is the list of actual sales that took place for the particular NFTs that you would have have selected here. And then we'll show you the comparison to the actual sold price of the NFT to the estimated price that we have for the particular day of the sale that took place. So perfect timing. Uh As you see here, when you see this line item, this is a transaction that occurred for do item 1024, the actual sold price was 6.5. And then the estimated price that we had was 7.62. The gap between here gives us the performance or like how basically how accurate our data was. And this is the way we visualize so that you can get like an at glance view of or like basically the confidence level with which you can use our API. All right. I think for various reasons, many people would also find shape floor or collection floor price valuable as well. We also provide that. The nature of the data is, I think, very comparable to the price estimate. So just like how we provide individual NFT pricing, the way of getting that bulk or historical trend, we provide all of that for the floor price as well. And then I think additional things that are a little bit less core, but basically what we have as a result of managing a portfolio management solution is the NFT inventory and wallet. So basically you can call the API to give you the list of all the NFT collections, uh, NFTs held in that uh, particular wallet, and then accordingly the value associated with each of those NFTs. So what you see here, here is a screenshot of our portfolio management and inventory. But I think my point here in including the screenshot is to help you think through what are some of the things that you can expect from the API. Um, so... All of this is actually well summarized in our API doc right here. Feel free to take a look through, take a look through, and then and then ask us any questions. Obviously, you have four of us here who can answer those questions. So yeah, this is um, the overview of how NFT Bank has been growing and then how we have tried to make the mark on NFT financialization. And then hopefully this is an inspiration to you. And then we would love for a lot of you to actually use the resources that we provide to further. Awesome. I think I saw a question in chat. Yeah. Yep. Cool. I will answer the question on chat and then I just threw the doc into the chat as well. So in the question I got, could you please afterward comment on the algorithm providing floor price estimate? Found this nice article. Thanks. I'm assuming a, some of your question would have been answered by that article, but I think I can give you the gist. I think there those two are likely two separate questions that are on estimate price and then how we capture the floor price. On the estimate front, at the core, how we look at the data is basically looking at the sales transaction data of the NFTs that have been sold in the market. And then obviously, I think even intuitively, a lot of us know that traits of the individual NFTs are like the key determinants of the price. But what we actually see is not as intuitive in real data as what many people would think. I think an example of that is many people assume that the rarer the traits combination that a particular NFT has, the price is always going to be higher. It's not always that. How we track is basically just analyze the moving pattern of the NFT prices for the particular traits and then understand which trait was actually most influential in terms of determining the price. And then basically have our model um, be trained using those signals and then turn that into an NFT pricing model altogether. So I would say that's at the very core, but then obviously how the trading behavior is in the market would influence how we capture like outliers, right? For example, I think wash trading has been a lot of the big concerns around like how the pricing can be very manipulated, which I think is something that floor price is like very prone to. 
But our estimate actually, our models actually detect as we go, what are those like behaviors that are not necessarily genuine representation of the market and then try to capture that into the model. I think right now we oversimplify when we explain it to our partners or our APIs to say that. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, if I just need over it. No worries, no worries. Yeah, yeah. we oversimplify to say that we have a certain model, but in reality, we have, I think, more than 20 versions of the model that we continuously evolve from the observation of the market trading patterns. So that's on the estimate side, but I think the floor price question answer may be a little lot simpler. We currently use the OpenSea market data to detect the floor price. And then when it comes to trade floor price, how that is captured is Basically, for a particular NFT, we look at the, the trade that has the highest price. And then we look at, sorry, let me take that back. So for a particular NFT, we look at the NFT or the, all the trades that a particular NFT holds. And then we compare with all the other NFTs in the same collection who share the same trait. And we look at the floor amongst all of those shared trait NFTs. And then for that one NFT, the trade that has the highest floor is what how we're defining the trade floor. I think this is a little bit more complicated when I try to explain it like this, but I think it's pretty intuitive if you are a avid NFT collector and then the way people have been defining the trade floor uh, price. But let me know if there's anything that I can explain further to clarify. Okay, I got a thumbs up from Gabriel. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyone else have questions? If not, where to find the team on the Discord? There's an NFT bank channel with all the resources that you'll need for the bounty and all the links that are on the, the resources section as well.